hello guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create this really cool thumbnail and also an intro video for johnny harris and 2023 end of the year wrap so i'm going to show you how to do this all inside of after effects and how to export it and use it as a thumbnail for your video Check this out. Video. Um, these are some of the assets. So I'll be uploading them online so and sharing the link so that you download them and use them if you want to follow the tutorial. So the first asset we have here is this bank with and uh, the Silicon Valley and right up on it. Then and uh, this image of and uh, John Smith with a background and one without a background. One without a background. And also this image I edited of Johnny Harris, Joe Biden, and the moon without one without a background and one with a background. And also this paper texture that I downloaded from freepix.com. It's free. So the first thing we need to do is bring down our, our paper texture, then go to your text tool and we'll start with two, the number two here, type the number two here then go to then bring up the position parameter by pressing p on your keyboard and then holding down shift and pressing x to also bring down the scale parameter so let's position the x the x position so i'll just do nine six nine six five point five then the Y position will be 652. 652.5. Then let's scale it up to 699. And like that, we have we've done the first one. Then the next thing we're going to do is to bring the image of Joseph Smith, one with the background, one without the background. Click control to select both of them and put them on top now make bring the one without the background bring it below bring it below the number two and the one with the background should be on top on top of it so next select the both items the both images and bring up their position parameter and the escape parameter so because the both of them is highlighted if you make changes to the one at the any any one of them it will also affect the both of them so we need both of them to be aligned so that the edit can work properly so i'm going to make the position the x position one zero one two and the and the y position five four one then the scale I'll scale it down to let's say 34. So I think I did it wrongly. So only one, only one of them actually scales. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select select the properties here, copy and paste it on the second one, like this and like that. You can also do it this way. It's also nice. So after that, we'll click on the one below on the image below and make it the track marked of the of two now you can see that the image is embedded showing under the under two then next bring up the turn on the one above then bring up the opacity a bit a bit so that we can see then Go to your pen tool. We we'll need to draw a max max around around it, so that only the parts we want we want to be visible to show out. So click on your pen tool, then make sure the one on top is highlighted is selected. Then draw a max just here, just a rough max, depending on how you want it. like this now increase your opacity 
so what you do next is go to your max and hit invert now that's how easy it is now you can see that some part of his head is outside and this book is outside while the rest of them is still inside so you can still draw a max around any part you want not to be visible you can still hide this part i like that but we don't need that so we are done with this fixed one we are not okay we are not done yet sorry so the next thing we're going to do is we need to bring bring this silicon valley bank so just put it on top here it's pretty large so we're just going to scale it down so i'll just bring up my scale property and also my position property so i'm just going to scale this down to nine so it's small then the x position will be 1084.9 and the y position will be 699 six, 696 sorry and like that almost is oh, exactly just like jerry harris own. so once you're done with each number i'll just select all the items on it and pre-compose them just to keep them arranged it doesn't do anything so next we'll move on to the second number which is so i'll move on to zero and select zero then bring up the position parameter and the scale property then the position will be 492 for the x position and the uh, y position will be five, five six five eight then make then scale it up to 699 just like the first one and here we have it next we're going to bring an image of the image of johnny harris and joe biden that i edited one with the background one without the background so the one without the background i'm going to put it above the number and one with the background i'm going to put it below the number so just like we did before i'm going to scale and and position it so for the x scale i'm going to do 574 579.4 and the y and the y position i'm going to do 549.2 549.2 then the scale i'm going to scale it down to 72 72 percent and like that i'm going to select both parameters hit copy then paste it on top and and see the both aligned then just like the first one make the below image half amount of the number just like that now you see that the images are inside the text then after that we're going to create a mark so that only part of joe biden's head is showing outside the zero so to do this go to your rectangle tool and select the ellipse tool then draw a circle right like this and it's very easy and just like that you have a cool text thumbnail that you can use for your video so you can use this in any of your video depending on what you want to do so to export this out so you can from this example now you can add other items on top of it and other images and animation and use them as your intro or as your thumbnail depending on what you want so with this few example i hope you can create your own and please if you enjoyed this video and you've stayed up to now please consider subscribing to my channel thank you so to export this frame out and use use it as an image or to export it as an image go down to composition and select save frame as file so to go down to your render queue so under your render queue click on this photoshop here then change it to a jpg sequence or a png sequence then hit ok now click render and it will export it as an image for you to use so thank